Hi, welcome to the uh, recording vlog here in Aloft Studios. Uh, quite a few things have been going on since the last time uh, I did one of these, uh, but one of the main things is uh, I've finished a new album here. Uh, and it's called Adagio's Electric, and it looks like that. And it's an album of ambient, um, improvised theremin music, really. Uh, it's theremin going through a bunch of effects. So if you imagine sort of a theremin going through a harmonizer and a whole bunch of filters and then it, lots of delays and reverbs, and it makes a floaty, wafty sound of theremin y, wafty, mellowness. How do you explain this stuff. Anyway, one of the reasons for making the album was I've been using this setup for a little while now and uh, through my month I thought it'd be nice to document it because the last theremin based album I did was Contact Light. It was kind of a few years ago and I had a much a different theremin, a very simple setup. And things have evolved over time so I thought it'd be nice to record that. But another thing I wanted to do was the my monthly improv sessions that I help run called Quad Electronic. Uh, listening back to my playing on it, it's, I really, it's very easy to do too much on the theremin. Uh, you're interacting with others, you're having fun, and of course that's that's good fun, and it's it's a very easy instrument to go crazy on because your hands are just floating around, and especially through effects, you can go, and it's fun to go crazy now and again. But one day at home, I was just playing three chords floating three chord sounds through a harmonizer and a tonal delay and I went downstairs to make some coffee came back up and it was still going on and it was kind of just swooshing around these just three chords and I thought that's one of the nicest things I've done with the, the theremin electronic kit so I thought it'd be nice to do an album of just floaty wafty chords trying to do less and um, building up kind of as I said these kind of adagio sounds reminded me whilst I was doing it of, you know, yes, Samuel Barber's kind of adagio, or floating chords. So that's what I thought I'd show you, try a, a kind of, I was too busy doing it to film any, so I thought I'd show you before I have to take the kit down, it's quite electronic tonight, uh, how I did the pieces, so. Um, I'll show you some of the kit that shows you how I'm doing, because if you're thinking of the normal theremin sound of, you know, kind of, you know it's not that, it's through all this kit here, which I'll show you. Right, uh, this is my theremin, which is a uh, Etherwave Pro by Moog, and the wonderful Thierry Frankel has modified the uh, volume antenna circuit. Thank you very much for that, Thierry. Uh, I saw him at the uh, hands-off theremin symposium in Scarborough a few weeks ago, and he did that for me. It's brilliant. has made that much nicer to play. This is my bunch of effects which are three Mogafogas, which I'll try and explain why I use them and what they do. This was a low-pass filter, uh, which I won in a Twitter raffle from Source Distribution. So, thanks guys. I don't know why I won that, but they, they had some raffle. And I won this. When did I ever win anything? Cool. It acts like a kind of wah in its crudest form. So if you play a louder volume, it'll open an envelope, and instead of ooh, it'll go wah, kind of stuff. So it can kind of make the sound. I don't use it all the time, but sometimes. Then there's a ring modulator which I mostly use for cutting up the sound and making noises so I don't do an awful lot of that on this album. A tiny little bit at the end of each piece of some pieces I'll sort of go and it's good for that. Usually next then I go into a harmonizer. Uh, I actually vary the order of things but uh, I, I go into this vocal harmonizer which is you sing into it harmonies come out and it works for the theremin as well. And also at this stage, I can sometimes bring in a microphone for singing, ooing and ahhing, or playing my low whistle down. And I have this Murph, which is an animated filter array. I know it sounds complicated, and I don't really understand all what it does. It sweeps through these different filters in animated patterns of your choice, and you can change whether they get the filter can introduce itself sharply to make a percussive noise in an animated pattern or you can smooth the attack and delay so it kind of makes uh, a kind of swooshy sound and I generally use it for atmospheric swooshiness and that's a technical term that animated swoosh, uh, uh, atmospheric swooshiness you can quote me on that 
And then I have my Giga Delay, which is a big 23 second boss delay, and so it sweeps things from left to right over the course of 23 seconds. And sometimes that's last in the length, sometimes the Murph is, and I change them around for different tracks. I'll try and show you a piece of doing what I've been doing for the album, and if there's an edit here, uh, then it's because it hasn't gone well, and I had to start again. Because it's tricky, it's delicate business. I'll plonk the camera down. Oh, clonk. I'll clonk the camera down. I'll put the headset on in case I want to ooh and ah a bit. Now the first note's always a bit of a stab in the dark because uh, with a harmonizer setting up a kind of haloed harmony delay, the way I have it set up a lot of the time, my entry note could be anything really. Uh, so I have to kind of bring it in gently and hope uh, that it'll be consonant with the harmonizer. Uh, fingers crossed. Let me show you, I guess, without every, anything whatsoever, then it's going to sound like that's your normal sound that you're going to get from your theremin. But once I put these things back on, this is what I've been doing for the Adagio's electric album. Sometimes I go down low, change the sound to a more kind of cello like sound, bass notes. Adagio's Electric. If you go to chrisconway.org uh, and then click on the cover, uh, you can hear the whole album online. And you can download it. It'll be on iTunes as well soon. Uh, and I've enjoyed making it and I hope uh, you'll give it a try. I know some people, some friends of mine are a bit put off by the theremin and find it a little too weird. But this is really a pretty nice, mellow, relaxing album. So I hope you'll give it a shot. Uh, Thanks for watching, until next time.